And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from Major League Soccer coming right up. It's the Philadelphia Union, and they take on DC United. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. The initial 11 today for the hosts. A 4-4-2 with a slight tweak, maybe. Yeah, it's all about the central midfield players in this formation, Derek. The two players, instead of playing next to each other, one will just play advanced of the other one. Very, very important that the wide players tuck in when they haven't got the ball to help that lone midfield player in the middle of the park. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the match. And now they get the ball rolling. Alejandro Badoya. Gibilco. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Perez. Now can they make something happen? Top class defending. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. And firing it into the area. Well, strongly fisted away. Teammates in the middle. It comes to nothing in the end. Mora. Disappointing pass. Monteiro. It looks promising. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Foiling them effectively. Alejandro Badoya. Alert defending. Junior Moreno. Gressel. Joseph Mora. Oh, a perfectly timed pass, and still a chance. It did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. Over it comes. And the keeper deals with the danger. Making progress. Can he open them up here? Counter-attacking very much an option. gone out and it is going to be a goal kick <laughs> 
Martinez. Jibilko. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Wagner. Can they get in behind them? Dangerous looking attack. The cut back. Can they slot it home? Well, nothing comes of it. He's played it out over the touchline. So a throw in to restart things. Monteiro. What can he do from here? And possession given away. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Flores. Intercepting it intelligently. Monteiro. Martinez. And he read it well. Russell Canaus. Junior Moreno. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Alejandro Badoya. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Julian Gressel. Here's Brendan Heinz Eich. Russell Kanaus. Perez. Martinez. Oh, great vision. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Fluency of movement. Oh, surely. And still danger here. Oh, it's in! The opening goal in the derby. And listen to what it means. Well, here's the replay. And it's a decent save at first. Not too sure he could have done much better. But in the end, he's got to be disappointed because it ends up in the onion bag. A bit unlucky for me. One nil then. Mora, Junior Moreno, Russell Canaus. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And the cross goes in. He got in the way of that cross. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Russell Canaus. And an astute piece of defending. Not much time to make up his mind. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in.
Monteiro. Gibilco. Martinez. Sergio Santos. Well, they keep passing away. A routine save. To guest relations for an important message. Sam Chan to guest relations, please. Thank you. Junior Moreno. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Went in strongly, decisively. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And they're making a change. Martinez Alejandro Badoya great strong tackle throw in forthcoming and it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes Martinez Wagner and options in the centre Alert defending. Julian Gressel. And space for them here on the flank. And forward they go, chasing the game. Well, it's a cracking atmosphere in here. The players just need to harness that energy from the crowd to see them through in this game. Might be a chance here. A cut back. Good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. He's driven in the corner. This looks promising. Cutting the ball back. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here's the replay. That pullback cross is so hard to defend against, and that eventually leads to what amounts to a simple task of rounding the goalkeeper. 2v1. There's only one winner. It's going their way, 2-0. Frédéric Brion. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Russell Kanaus. Won it back. Wagner, a real opening now. An important challenge, but they must remain organised. Wonderful block.
So the corner played into the box. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Well, Derek, when the lead was extended to a two-goal margin, you could almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager too. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.